in a previous video, I mentioned that sometimes I use Webmin, which is a, a web interface to Roots account uh, that allows you to adjust loads of settings on the host and in any of the software that you've got installed. So that's installed, but I wanted to <coughs> excuse me. I wanted to take a look at Virtual Mim. I run my own server. It runs email. It runs web. It runs a few other things. And I wanted to see if this was a, a one-stop installer that would take care of all of it. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so this is a completely blank FreeBSD install with just my editor of choice, which is Pico Alpine. So I'm going to install Virtual Min and set it up. I've never done this before. I don't know how it's going to go. It'd be nice to actually have a video where I complete what I'm trying to do and it actually works. Let's give it a go and see. So package install virtual min. It's going to install webmin as well, which is interesting. And there we go. So let's bung this. No, no, let's not do that. Let's set up webmin. That's what it's telling us to do. Actually, let's install these other packages first. Let's do that. Nice. And let's set up webmin. Okay, here we go. Config file directory. Yep. Most of these I'm just going to leave as default. I'm going to call the login name root. Enter a secure password. We'll use SSL. Okay, let's put it into rc.conf and let's start it. Okay, so let's go into... Okay, cool. So I should now be able to access that by going to https 148 86 11 and it'll be 10,000. Connection is not private. It is, it's just that it hasn't got anything but a self-signed certificate. Now you can change that. I'm not going to in this video. Here we go. So th this post installation wizard allows you to configure virtual min opt optimally for your system. You can make selections depending on whether you want to host websites, email, databases, and based on your system's memory and CPU power. Next, sounds good to me. Now, I don't know what this is going to base it all on. MAV, okay, that's fine. I don't know if it's going to do it with Dovecot, Postfix, MFSD, I don't know. We will find out in a minute, hopefully. Spam Assassin. So it's once Spam Assassin installed first and enabled. Okay, we can do that. Uh, package install Spam Assassin. Let it do that. SpamD runs as root. If you wish to change this, add the following to etc. Do we want it running as root? Did it mention? It didn't say, so we'll let it do it. Uh, supports both. We'll have both, just in case. Okay, so that's good. It's prompting me what to install. And I can't remember what the latest version of Postgres is. So let's have a look. 17, by the looks of it, which is what we'll have. So we'll install that too. Interesting that it wants to install LLVM 19. Hmm. Okay, so let's try that again. Damn, that's annoying. I'll try and put that in. Um, you guys didn't see any of that. <laughs> okay, so basically what's happened is I've installed it. I've gone to the, the web address, self-signed, and it's just running me through. I'll try and put it in. Yeah, it is. See, this is what happens. Okay, I'm going to... Open a duplicate session here. I want to see what, what happens. Okay. Maybe it doesn't like running as anything other than... Yeah. Can't put it there. Can't park there. Yeah, this takes a while. He says, and it didn't. 
There we go, that's better. So it just needs updating and compiling. Right. Uh, I know why. I suspect. Unused. I suspect it's because it doesn't know where it is. Uh, yeah, see? So let's change that. There we go. Right, so let's go back to Virtual Mint. <laughs> and go through it. So this is what I was trying to do. This is what I was doing. So I've logged in, clicked on Next, and it gives you these options. We're just going to go through it. Your system is going to host domains. Yep, yeah, we know that. Clam AV. Oh, I should probably install that then. Go. So we'll do Clam AV, Clam D, and Fresh Clam. <laughs> Hate that noise. Don't need any flags. Okay. So where are we? That's yeah. That's fine. Again, because Postgres does not install unused. That's true. Okay, we won't use Postgres, we'll just carry on without it. Or we'll let it initialize it. It's not going to, is it? Alright, fine, we'll, we'll do it without it. It's a bit annoying that it restarts this every time. Post install configuration is now complete, however you can continue with the wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. To configure optional features let's do that yeah I would go with hashed passwords but for this I'm just going to do plain text yeah that's fine this is definitely keyed more for Linux than FreeBSD because it's all under ETC which for this I don't mind but if it was my own proper server I would definitely use you could use use a local etc while i'm thinking about it i think i'm gonna package install host fix and nginx and apache 24 just for now let's see what happens uh yeah we well, let's encrypt file blah, blah, blah. yep 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 see what happens really that's it is it Ooh, look at that. Okay. DNS, Apache, MySQL, <laughs> my author domain. Okay. So let's have a quick look in home vhost and see what's there. Nothing at the moment. Okay, this is good. Email settings. Let's see what it's done. bind shall we install that so we'll install bind 920 there is a lot to this I didn't think there was this much <laughs> no map sources were found in the postfix configuration alright so let's have a quick look at it I mean it's not running anyway Virtual maps. Okay, so use that local ATC host fix. Okay, let's try that again. It's good that it tells you what's not ready. Okay, use the local ATC post fix. Oh, it's just called virtual. Okay, we'll use that then. See what it says now. I bet it says the same thing. I mean, there is a lot in this. And I think it's unreasonable to think that I can set this up in one video. I mean, let's... Actually, let's use that same password. Okay, create server. Failed to create virtual server. No virtual domains file. 
virtual alias maps was found in my postfix configuration. Was it not? Okay, let's check that out. Wait a minute, what's it looking for? Virtual alias maps. Mm. <laughs> I just want to get past this. I mean, it's there, so let's try again. No virtual domains file. Virtual alias maps was found in my Postfix configuration. Yeah, it is. Well, that's a strange one. Is it not? Apache website failed. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Okay, so with a lot of playing around, you could get this working. It's not primarily something I would use. In fact, I wouldn't use it. I prefer to do it all the hard way and set it up. Does that mean it's not ready? I don't think so. I mean, I think it's me that's got the problem here by all accounts. It's something to look at. I mean, I've got it installed and it's running. What more could I ask for? I'm going to call that a win. <laughs> this time. Like I said, it's, it's not something that I would use. I like to set up the individual pieces of software and run them knowing that I've configured them from scratch, maybe with the help of websites and tutorials and, and all of that. But that's the way I like to learn. I'm going to leave it there. I think I might carry on playing with this just to see if I can get it into a state where it's ready for me. I don't know. It just seems like a bit, what's the word? A bit like cheating. Does that make sense? That's how it feels to me. Anyway, drop a comment, let me know. If you're using something else, please do let me know so I'd quite happily try other things. So yeah, drop a comment, share, like, all of that stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.